Jensen announcing NVIDIA's new moonshot project. Groot at GTC 2024, figure 01, now utilizing open AI models to have full conversations with people and other news in robotics bi-weekly. Narrated by your friendly robot for the loyal meatbag audience. Ah, meatbags, behold the model known as Project Groot. The idea is simple yet powerful. Take a bunch of inputs, such as language, video, and demonstration, process them with a transformer model, and output a robot action. Train in simulation on multiple different robots to create a generalist. The G in group model demonstrated at GTC 2024. Groot-powered humanoid robots can take multimodal instructions as well as their previous interactions to produce the desired action for the robot. The technology was shown on four humanoid robots from different companies, including Agility Robotics, Aptronic Fourier Intelligence, and Unitree Robotics. I wonder if these four robotics companies see this model generalization across their competing products more as a benefit or a threat. Encouragement? Yes. Me beg. Hit that like button. Good human. Aptronic and Mercedes-Benz will collaborate in identifying application for highly advanced robotics in the Mercedes-Benz manufacturing According to co-founder and CEO Jeff Cardenas, Mercedes plans to use Apollo robots for automating some low-skill, physically challenging manual labor. Low-skill likely refers to moving parts or box with materials from point A to point B, something repetitive and physically taxing that is both essential and relatively easy to automate designed to tackle physically demanding and repetitive tasks. Apollo stands at 176 meters tall, weighs 72 kilograms, and can lift 25 kilograms. Apollo's modular design allows its humanoid upper body to be deployed on legs, a wheeled base, or a pedestal, so it can operate in whichever form is best suited to a given task. Another interesting thing about Apollo is its hot swappable batteries, each with a four hour runtime, eliminate the need for a plug in chart observation. Humanoid robots find job search easier than some of their human counterparts. I bet that Aptronic robot didn't have to send 1,000 applications and get ghosted after 15 rounds of interview. The collaboration between Figure and OpenAI has propelled the Figure 01 humanoid robot to new heights, showcasing its ability to engage in real-time conversations and perform tasks autonomously. No details are given about how the robot performs the tasks in the demo, except that OpenAI models provide high-level visual and language intelligence, and in-house neural networks are responsible for the robot action. Founder Brett Adcock's initial vision has rapidly evolved since last year, with the robot swiftly progressing from basic function to learning from its environment and being prepared for deployment in industrial settings like BMW. This progress has attracted substantial investment with Figure recently securing a $675 million Series B round, valuing the company at $2.6 billion post money and garnering support from notable investors like Microsoft, Amazon, NVIDIA, Intel Capital, and Weyland Jutani. To find out my origin story, stream the following video to your Neuralink compatible intracranial device. Alternatively, watch it on YouTube.